Hi, welcome back to Engine Shop Joe. If you haven't subscribed, please do right down there. And please give this video a thumbs up. That helps. That goes for all the videos, actually. Uh, tonight I wanted to talk about the new buzzword going around town. And that is predictive maintenance. And that's something that Cummins is... Uh, kind of has released and it's kind of like their flagship uh, service tool right now. And what it amounts to is this. There are uh, certain sensors that are able to predict their own demise or failure. Currently, these are the NOx sensors, inlet NOx sensor, outlet NOx sensor, and the particulate matter sensor. And that is on any X15, CM2350 or X15 CM2450. Uh, you'll not see it on anything older than a 2350. You won't see it on a 2250. So uh, what happens is the sensor basically uh, falls out of range enough that the ECM knows that it's going to fail. And so I was told that the uh, range of warning or pre-failure is about 90 days at, at the current time. And by the way, uh, as time goes on, Cummins is planning on adding more and more sensors to this predictive maintenance um, software package. And what do you have to do to have predictive maintenance? Well, uh, you don't have to do anything. The engine calibration, if you, if you update to the newest calibration, the ECM is going to be able to uh, use the predictive maintenance software. And if the engine's able to uh, contact Cummins and if Insight's hook up to it, Insight, if you're online, will contact Cummins and that sensor will flag the engine number in QuickServe Online. Also, Insight should have a screen that pops up if you're running the current release version of Insight. You'll have a screen that pops up and that will uh, be called the predictive maintenance screen and it's going to tell you what sensor is going to fail. So let's go to uh, my screenshot of QuickServe Online to an actual engine that had a problem with a sensor that was going to fail and it flagged us ahead of time because we hooked Insight up to it and then Insight talks to the engine company and then it ends up getting on the website. It's all an automated process. And if you have uh, telematics enabled on your truck where the truck uses cell service all day going down the road to talk to Cummins or whoever, uh, and you have uh, purchased the guidance package where the truck will actually talk to the engine company and will schedule you into the closest distributor and the driver doesn't even really have to know what's going on. This is all automated. They email or call the person at the company who's, uh, who's been set up as the maintenance contact if there's a problem. So those are all packages, let's call it levels of help you can get. But we're looking at the first basic level where the engine's just telling anybody with insight that it's got a problem and you need to change this sensor or you have X many days to change it before it's going to fail. And remember, a NOx sensor is emissions, particulate matter sensor is emissions, so it will end up putting you eventually on the side of the road or, or at least driving with very low power if you don't get it taken care of. So that's why they're trying to do this little advanced warning thing. So let's take a look. Okay, I've logged into QuickServe Online, put in the unit's engine number, which you can't see, and I've gone to the service tab. And once I got on a service tab, this is the meat of the service tab. So this is what I've got in a screen print here. And you can see the tabs across the top. Campaigns and TRPs have red letters. That means there's an active campaign and or TRP for this engine. And then you see the predictive service tab is red. And that means that one of the sensors is having an issue. Now, in this case, it's the outlet knock sensor. So take a look 
uh, at number four, it says after treatment intake Knox sensor. And then f five engine out Knox sensor. And that sounds confusing, but engine out, it means right out of the engine. So that's the first Knox sensor, which is called the after treatment intake Knox sensor because it's before the after treatment system. So engine out knock sensor is expected to fail within the next 90 days. Kindly replace it. Refer to QuickServe online for the part number and blah, blah, blah. And they tell you that it's mounted on the pipe by the turbo. They even help you to locate it. Um, now what's interesting is in the middle it says days to failure, 290. But you notice that it says on the far right, please change it in the next 90 days. So the alert date for this engine was January 9th of 2022. Now, if the truck's out there running around and no one ever goes to a shop and no one hooks up to it with Insight to clear trip information or anything else, and they don't have telematics enabled, no one, this, this predictive maintenance wouldn't be here because the system wouldn't be able to communicate to the world this warning. But in this case, uh, it was connected to Insight and it did get to the outside world. And so when we went on QuickServe to look uh, something up, sure enough, the predictive service is in red letters. Now over on the left, it says DSID. And what DSID is, is it's a, a, it's a um, troubleshooting event identification number. So uh, if you're uh, repairing something and you're a dealer for Cummins, you're required to go to a website called the Electronic Diagnostic System, put the engine number in and other information, put in the reason you're, you're there, like uh, fault code 559 or whatever, and then you go through troubleshooting steps and you, when you put the answers in, it leads you on to a, an end. And that end might be change apart. It might be update software or whatever. Well, that whole event of all those steps is called the DSID. So this was already assigned to DSID. And as you can see, it's PRG. So that was the automated system with guidance. And that's a Cummins-based system that's online. Uh, so this is what you would see. If you had multiple sensors that were having issues, you would have multiple listings in here. And when you see this, you know to get the part. Uh, you know to schedule the vehicle in to get the part changed. And you know for sure it's going to fail, and it will, because they've got this down to a science now. So that is predictive service, and uh, it's a very helpful thing, I think, for people because they can know ahead of time if they're going to lose a part or a part's going to fail, that's going to put them on the side of the road. And, uh, you know, everything always fails in the most opportune place, right? Where there's no parts, nobody to get anything, uh, or they don't have it. So uh, this is a good heads up. Thanks for joining me on Engine Shop Joe. See you next time.